If you want to be a ultra successful real estate investor and you want to know where and how to get the funding for your deals without relying on hard money lenders, mortgage brokers, bankers, and none of that, you're in the right place. Don't go anywhere. I'm getting ready to plug you into the money. Well, welcome to the show. My name is Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, talking to you out of Eastern North Carolina. And if this is your first time to real estate investing with Jay Connor, I want to give you a special welcome. This is where we talk about all things real estate, single family houses. We talk about commercial. We talk about land. We talk about how to get the money, how to find the deals, how to sell them fast. We talk about rehabbing sometimes. And uh, most importantly, we talk about how to create the wealth and the freedom, because after all, that's why we're in this business is to have the freedom and what real estate lends ourselves to do. So, you know, we've been broadcasting here and doing the show for over a year, I guess, close coming up on a year and three months, part of a movement. I'm really glad you're here at the show because we're moving fast towards 200,000 downloads and listens. I have amazing guests on the show. And, you know, you may be uh, listening on iTunes or Google Play. You may be watching on one of the YouTube channels or Roku channels or Amazon Fire, Amazon Prime, wherever you're coming in from. We're glad to have you here and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the uh, future shows. And when you subscribe, if you're on uh, YouTube, be sure and ring tap that bell so you get notified as to when we go live so you don't miss out. If you're on iTunes, be sure to uh, subscribe, rate, and review. We love your feedback. So on this show, I am so excited to have as my special guest. An individual, a guy that I got to uh, know just a few months ago, he's uh, in Georgia. That's why we can speak the same language. But anyway, <laughs> he has got a phenomenal story. As I said, we just met three months ago, and within 36 days, he was able to attract and raise $100,000 in private money. And he's going to share his story in just a second as to how easy it was. But before I bring him on... I want to give everybody a gift. I've got a free online class that will show you the five steps on how to get private money to fund your deals so you never miss out on a deal because you didn't have the funding. So you can go to www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast, all one word. That's www.jayconner.com dot com forward slash money podcast and that training right there is waiting for you so with that it's my pleasure to introduce you and bring here on the show mr lance day lance welcome to the show hey jay thanks for having me absolutely man well i want to tell everybody you called in here to the office a few weeks ago and you were yes, sharing sir. your story about how after hearing me speak and getting my uh, where to get the money now training that uh, within 36 days, you were able to get $100,000 in private money. So let's get your background a little bit, Lance. So when, when we met each other, uh, had you done a deal yet? Had you already been doing real estate investing or was it brand new? It was just about brand new. I was a couple months into it, trying to just at that point, really just finding any kind of ugly house and foreclosures weren't on the list because I didn't have money to buy it. I was just really trying to wholesale a couple of deals and kind of figure it out. But little did I know there's a whole lot more than just that part of the business. So Yeah, yeah well, I'm so glad we connected, Lance, because as you already know, you know, there's some training out there that focuses on only buying houses on terms. And what I've discovered after reviewing thousands and thousands of property lead sheets over the past 16 years, what right. I've learned is that only 13% of for sale by owners will sell to us creatively, i.e., you know, subject to lease option or owner financing. But 87% right. want all the cash. So with this private money, we don't miss out on any of the deals. So let's hear the story on, the, on this $100,000. Did you locate this funding from one individual or more than one person? It was just one. 
I was planning on two just because the people close to me, you know, 100,000 was a little bit scary for all of them, but I figured there's a good chance to go 50-50 in this deal, but it ended up being just one. There you go. And so I love your story as to how you actually got this hundred <laughs> this hundred thousand dollars in private money um, from your real estate attorney, right? Yes, it was. I w one morning I went and picked up the contract because a guy had to get his partner, who was also owner of the house, with him. He got it signed by both of them, and then he left it at his office. I picked it up that next morning. And when I picked it up, I thought, okay, you know, I finally have a contract. They agreed to sell it to me. I, you know, I've been trying to do this for two months now. And I was thinking, you know, two months ago, I, my only option was to wholesale it, you know, I, and, but then now I have this idea of private money. I'm thinking, man, I, I can do it. You know, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make more than just this little wholesale fee. So I decided, you know what, well, I got a contract. They say next to do next thing to do is go schedule it with the attorney right now. So I just okay, drove over and sat down with the closing attorney that I had met a couple months prior to that. Great guy. Um, and told him that uh yeah, I just gotta find somebody to fund it for me now. Just as casual as that. I said, you know, well actually I tried to sound a little bit, you know, like I knew what I was doing. I said, Yeah, you know, my guy right now, he's uh He's trying to get it switched over to a self-directed IRA and he's kind of not sure how to do blah, blah, blah. So I said, he's kind of out of the water. So I'm kind of looking for somebody else to fund it right now. And he says, well, I'll look at it and I'll fund it for you. I said, uh, that'd be okay. And he said, you know, what's your terms? And I knew enough of the lingo just from your system that I knew what to, I knew how to respond to that. I nailed it. And he said, yeah, I'll email you tomorrow. No problem. Sure enough, I get the email the next day and I just lost it. I was so happy. He said, Yep, I'll fund the whole deal. Here's my here's the terms, just what you said. Ten percent interest paid monthly. I said, Fantastic. I was <laughs> well, so you know, happy. You just said and I congratulate you for knowing oh. the program because here here's the deal, as you already know, Lance, and I want everybody that's listening to get this. And that is one of the first things that we have to do to be successful in attracting private money, and Lance, you've heard me say it a lot, we're not chasing anybody, we're not begging, we're not selling, we're not trying to talk anybody or anything. We're simply making the program you know, available. And right. so in order to make our program available, we got to know what the program is, you know? <laughs> so I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm curious, Lance, you know, so you, know, you just came into my world three months ago my right. question is, do you recall, did you get on the coaching call with me that following week right after you got my system to learn the program? Because I teach my private lending program on that group coaching call after each weekend when I speak. Or did you learn the system when you got the home study system? Oh, I, honestly, I think both. Okay, good. So you were I on believe the call. so. Yeah. And so that is critically important what you just shared. When your attorney said, well, hey, I could be interested in doing that. And then he said, well, what are your terms? Well, you had to know what the terms were. You needed, you had to know exactly. what interest rates you were going to offer and, and et cetera. And you were right there, you know, not Johnny on the spot, but Lance on the spot, you know, ready, right. ready, ready to give the answer. So that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I was, I was happy that, you know, obviously he had worked and does still work with investors. And so he knew you know how to he just knew everything about it and the, so it wasn't foreign to him I didn't have to explain a lot to him and you know just the what I said was you know was enough and you know he's the guy who gets it and so then I went told my you know family and close friends I said this guy is obviously successful he understands real estate I said I, I wasn't you know pitching a a bad deal to you guys that the numbers make sense you guys need to play so let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I was my sense. dad and some other people, they were thinking, yeah, okay, well, maybe we'll, we'll get on the next one. Okay, well. So, so how much additional private money have you gotten pledged for future deals? Oh, I'm only at about, I'm at a hit about three, 330. So 330,000. 
330, yes. And so but you've those got, are from four people. So Sure. Is that 330 include the 100 from the attorney? No, no. So no. you got 330 in addition to the 100. So you so you've now raised and attracted without even hardly working $430,000 in private money in 90 days. Pretty much. Yes, sir. Yes, man, that is awesome. So you mentioned wholesaling a moment ago. You know, you had this, you had this deal under contract. Right. You could, you could have wholesaled it for a wholesale oh, yeah. or, or wholesale assignment fee. But with the private money, you were able to stay in the deal. Yep. And move exactly. forward. So, so let's talk some numbers. Let's talk some okay. numbers. In fact, let's just drill down on this deal. Okay. That you used a hundred thousand for. So first of all. How did you find the deal? What marketing method did you use to find this lead? Oh, I was out driving and this house kind of stuck out and needed a little bit of work. And it was in an okay neighborhood, but, you know, just kind of stuck out. And so I sent the guy a postcard and, you know, just kind of stuck out. And so I sent the guy a postcard and I think on the third postcard or third or fourth one, he reached out to me. Did it have a for sale by owner sign in the front yard or did it, or no. did you just see something that told you to mail him? It just, I just saw something that stuck out. It was just looked distressed and, you know, I thought it was vacant. Sure enough, the seller calls me and said he'd be interested, but then informed me that there was a tenant living there. Uh huh. So I was, you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, bummer, but I don't care. You know, we'll work with a tenant or I'll pay them and, and help them leave, you know, if I have to, whatever. But sure enough, and this was about the the twentieth or so, and sure enough, ten days later they were moving out at the end of the month. So it all just fell into play like it was just oh, it was so So specifically, what gave you the signs of it being distressed? The I'm bushes like, in front of the house were growing up over the windows, you know. There was some wheat way grass was way taller than any other all the neighbors. You know, the, the roof looked a little bit just shaky in some parts, but it just, you know, it was clear that there definitely wasn't anybody taking care of it. So I got uh, you. I got you. So now you said you mailed them a series of postcards. Do you mind sharing with my audience what kind of postcard campaign you're using and who your provider is? Sure. So it's the Deal Machine app, which. Oh, uh, yeah. David Lecco, a good friend oh, of yeah. mine, the founder Le of Deal Machine. In fact, David was just on the show a few weeks ago. Yep, that guy changed the game for uh, millions of wholesalers that are just trying to get after it and drive for dollars because that's the cheapest way to do it. I mean, and then sure enough, that app allows you to, man, you can just, it's so efficient. It's crazy what it can do. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. David Letko and I were in a mastermind group together called Collective Genius. And, oh, yeah, you know, he's a great guy. He is. So you use the deal machine app. Yep. And so here go the postcards. So it was a landlord. So this was a tired landlord, right? Yes, sir. All right. So they responded to you. And so now you have this conversation and you got your property lead sheet. So let's talk about the math. What is the after repaired value of this property? This little low house uh, ran it at 135 and it was pretty the house across the street was a little bit smaller and it sold for 134 i think so i mean it was right there at 135 got you and what did you buy it for i got it for 90 and the only thing that you know okayed me with 90 was the fact that there was someone living in it and so i figured oh you know it won't need more than you know ten thousand if there's people a family living in there surely not so, yep, got it for 90. So I want everybody to, to not miss this. You borrowed $100,000. You yes, bought sir. it for 90. So you got right at a $10,000 check when you bought the house, right? Yes. Bam. Yes. Because <laughs> we always borrow more than we need to buy the house. And you got paid right up front a big check to buy the house. Now, exactly. you mentioned you could have wholesaled it. Right. Or like you have, you stayed in the deal with private money. So let's talk about, let's run the numbers on making money. So if you had wholesaled the deal, how much wholesale fee would you have made? 
according to, you know, the other wholesalers in this area, it would be around, if I was lucky, 10 to 12, if I was lucky. So you could have made a 10 to 12 wholesale fee, but as Maybe. a result, as a result, now are you going to flip the house or are you going to hold it? Tenant buyers in it now. Um, so you've so already it'll... sold on rent. So you sold it on rent to own. So you, you collected yes, a non-refundable option fee, right? Yes, sir. How much option fee did you collect? 10,000 up front and 5,000 due within 60 days. So bam. So cash flow, you got $10,000 when you bought it because you borrowed $10,000 more than you needed to buy it. Yep. You got another $10,000 when you sold it and you got another, how much coming in 60 days? Five. And Maybe another five. five. That's going to be $25,000 cash flow in your pocket within two or three months of buying this house and no money out of your pocket, right? Zero. Well, closing costs. I did think it was maybe 3,500 or three out of 3,000 or whatever it was, closing costs. But that's it. But you didn't have to cash flow it. That came out of, I mean, you still that got a came check. came out of the, exactly, exactly. You still got a check. So how about this program, Lance? No money out of your pocket, private lenders funding the whole thing, and now you're making money, money, money on, on the sale. Fantastic, man. Are you paying your private lender monthly payments? Yes, sir. He wanted monthly and just because I was relatively new, which sure, you know, I was fine with that. So he wants monthly payments. So you're paying him 10%. So you're paying him 2% too much money, but I'll forgive yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Your first deal. <laughs> so $10,000. So your monthly payment is what? 800 and 835. So 835. 835 bucks is your payment to the private lender. How much are you collecting monthly in rent? 1100 nice bam making more money you got 1100 coming in you got 835 going out how you liking this business so far there lance i mean it's this is pretty wild how <laughs> that i mean it, even though it's happened it's still hard to believe that you can use other people's money and buy a house and then just continue making cash flow because these, these people they aren't going to go get qualified they have no intention so it's going to be 1100 coming in the door for the next while how so, long did you how long did you give them uh how long's the term i, I gave them five years five years yes gotcha. sir. okay well let's have a little seminar here right here now okay <laughs> so on, on the next deal don't give them five years i give my people either 12 months or two years and what that does is that allows you the control to decide at the end of that term whether you want to extend or not. So that that's puts, true. Puts you more in the driver's seat, you know. Sure. Right. So anyway, just an idea. Just an idea. Hey, I was I was feeling nice since they decided to give me fifteen thousand, a little low one hundred thirty five thousand dollar house. I said, <laughs> uh, you know, I was feeling a little generous after that. I guess. Yeah. Well, man, that's fantastic. So, what are you now doing to generate? So you got three hundred thirty thousand dollars burning a hole in your pocket right now pretty much pretty much they, what they're waiting doing? on me to call so what do you do oh and that's another i'm glad you brought that up lance because when you call them up as you've heard me teach you don't call them up and say hey i got this deal do you want to do this deal that's stupid we never call <laughs> them up and say here's this deal do you want to do this deal and of course they want to do the deal because you're not going to bring them a deal that doesn't fit the criteria of the program you're not going to borrow more than 75 percent of the after repaired value or in that neighborhood. They know the rate of return they're gonna get. They know how they're protected. They know how they can get their money back in case of an emergency. So we call them up and say, I got good news. And the good <laughs> news is, is I got a deal that fits the criteria of the program. And you know, as you've heard me teach, there's only four things we tell the, the private lender when we got a deal, right? Cause they've already bought into the program. We tell them, number one, the after, I got, hey, I got fantastic news, got us a deal to do. So the after repaired value is 200000 It's located over here in Newport. We only need $100,000 to fund the deal, and I need the funds wired by next Tuesday. Done. Done. End of conversation. There's yep. no selling. There's no selling, no chasing. They've already said, hey, I got the money. Go find us a deal. We call them up, we give them the great news, the after repaired value, the township, how much they need to wire, 
of course, you got to give them your attorney's borrowing instructions. Sure. And when, and when to have the money there. Boom. Done. Yep. Yep. Lance, that's, new, that's it. I'm excited. Lance you're, Lance, you're my new poster child. <laughs> well, not to. So the four that were there, and I talked to the fourth one this morning, he basically emailed me and said that his funds he will not have his funds available to wire for this one because i got one that I just signed bought it last week and the closing is a week from today and so now all four of those are basically out of this deal and so i relaxed about you know a month ago when i secured that amount and i didn't go get any other funding so now that th this guy's off the hook now I got to go find somebody to fund this new deal I got. But <laughs> now it's the fun part because now I get to make some friends because once, you know, people who get it, they're, they love me. So. Absolutely. Just gotta, have you still really got a day job? Have you still got a day job, Lance, or have you fired? No, sir. Day job? I fired my day job and, uh, and that's, uh, you know, caused some, some, uh, some early gray hairs, I'm sure. But uh, you got yeah. The it's, coming in. Yep. Hopefully. I mean, one or two more deals and it'll be, you know, pretty smooth sailing because I'm a lot better of a sales salesman when I have a little cushion. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Well, hey, look, I know before we started the show, you said you were coming to town sometime. You got your date set as to when you're coming to town? Ah, oh, well, you know, I do not. Um, okay, you're still working on that. Yes, I am still working on it. Gotcha. But I, I will gotcha. be coming to your live event on the next the next time you have that. Oh my Lance Lance, last week's live event and mastermind uh, was unbelievable. I had yep. not, last week I had not, so I ran my mastermind on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. So I got I got fifteen people in there, movers and shakers. I got a set of brothers that are doing over one hundred deals a year in oh, my master in my most. mastermind in my mastermind group and talk about the value that they brought to the mastermind meeting and the resources and how they're getting all those deals done was unbelievable so that was monday and tuesday and then my live event jay connor's real estate cash flow conference that was wednesday thursday and friday lance we had 90 people at, at the event from all over the nation 60 percent of them were already doing deals they wanted to learn, you know, how to do it more the, the way that I do it. But we had people from Washington, uh, Seattle, Washington, Las Vegas, North Dakota, had a ton of people from Texas, Ohio, Florida. They're from all over. And it was just a phenomenal nice. event. But anyway, yeah, my next event is the last week of Absolutely. February. So it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, February 26th, 27th, and 28th of 2020. And, and that's in your hometown, correct? Yeah, that's back hometown, in Moorhead. Yeah, my hometown. I mean, I have a dozen or so of my personal private lenders come to the event for the attendees okay. to network with. The first day, the half a day, I teach all about private money. The afternoon on Wednesday, we go on the bus tour, my rehab bus tour, and we actually go out and look at my houses that we are. In fact, last week, we went to three houses we had just finished. My general contractor, my uh, interior designer were on the tour. And so everybody got to see on the tour these three houses that we had just finished. And I got to show people how I found the deals, how much we paid for them, the line item budget and, and all that. And the average profit on those three deals were over $60,000 per deal on each of those three houses. And the second day I teach my foreclosure system, which is accounts for about 25% of my business, how we find deals before other real estate investors know they exist. I teach my selling system, how we can sell any house in three days or less on the rent to own program and the open house that we do. And then that afternoon I have private lenders come to the event. And then the third day is all about automation. How do we actually do this business in less than 10 hours per week and can realistically net over seven figures a year. So yeah, I'm so glad Lance, you're going to be at the upcoming event in February, 2020. No doubt. It's just, there's so much value in that. Like it, there's no reason if you're in real estate and you claim to be an investor, you want to be an investor, you know, there's, there's a certain, I mean, there's an, only a few people, you know, a handful of people who can teach it and, you know, that's doing it and it will take care of you if you get in there, you know, mastermind groups, et cetera, et cetera. And, and you, you're definitely one of them. So there's no reason that people don't go to 
go to just soak it in and just copy exactly what you teach them. Man, that's awesome. Lance, I am so proud of you, and I'm going to be honored to have you at the upcoming live event. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited about it, and thanks for having me on here. This is it's been fun. All right, Lance. Well, congratulations to you. I, the, I can't wait to hear how much you will have accomplished between now and the last week of February 2020. But anyway, I'll be talking to yep. you soon, man. Absolutely, you will. I appreciate it, Jay. All right, thank you. All right, everybody, Take thank care. you for tuning in. Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. Until next time, I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. See you later.